Chapter 20 of Ancient and Modern Celebrated Freethinkers. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Ancient and Modern Celebrated Freethinkers by Charles Bradlaugh. Chapter 20 Baptiste de Mirabeau. Jean Baptiste de Mirabeau was born at Paris in the year 1675. Of his early life we can glean but very scanty information. He appears first to have embraced the military profession, but it not being consonant with his general character, he soon quitted the army and devoted himself to literature. He was, however, nearly forty-nine years of age before he became known in the literary world. He then published a French translation of Tasso's Jerusalem, which brought him much fame and many of the contributors to the French Encyclopedia appear to have associated with him and courted his friendship. He was afterwards elected a member of the French Academy, of which he became the secretary in 1742. Mirabeau was a constant visitor at the house of his friend the Baron d'Holbach, down to the period of his death. He wrote The World, Its Origin, and Its Antiquity, opinions of the ancients upon the jews sentiments of the philosophers upon the nature of the soul and other minor works the system of nature was also for many years attributed to mirabeau but it appears now to be extremely doubtful whether he ever wrote a single line of the work the abbe galliani was one of the first who pointed out dolbach as the author in the memoirs of Michel Soir, edited by Michel Garat, the same hypothesis is supported with additional firmness. Dugald Stewart seems to put much faith in the latter authority as fixing the authorship of the system of nature upon Dolbach. Voltaire attributes the work to Damilaville in a somewhat positive manner, for which he is sharply criticized in the Biographie Universelle, published in 1817. The System of Nature is a book of which Dugald Stewart speaks as the boldest, if not the ablest, work of the Parisian atheists, and it has undoubtedly obtained great popularity. Voltaire, who has written against the System of Nature in a tone of bitter sarcasm, and who complains of its general dullness and prolixity, yet admits that it is often humorous, sometimes eloquent. It certainly is not written in that lively but rather superficial style which has characterized many of the French writers, but it speaks in plain yet powerful language, evincing an extensive acquaintance with the works of previous philosophers, and much thought in relation to the subjects treated upon. Some of its pages, exhibiting more vivacity than the rest of the book, have been attributed to Diderot who, it is alleged by Marmontel and others, aided by his pen and counsel many of the free-thinking works issued during his life. The system of nature was not published during the lifetime of Mirabeau, and it is therefore impossible to use any argument which might have been based upon Mirabeau's conduct in relation to it. Mirabeau died in Paris in 1760, at the advanced age of nearly eighty-six years. Contemporary with him were D'Alembert, D'Holbach, Voltaire, Diderot, Helvetius, Condorcet, Buffon, Rousseau, Frederick II of Prussia, Montesquieu, Grimm, Sir William Tempte, Toland, Tyndall, Edmund Halley, Hume, Gibbon, Adam Smith, Franklin, and Darwin, forming a roll of names whose fame will be handed down to posterity for centuries to come as workers in the cause of man's redemption from mental slavery if as it appears very probably it be the fact that mirabeau had but little part in the authorship of la systeme de la nature d'holbach in using the name of his deceased friend only associated him with a work which judging from his other writings the tenor of his life and the noble character of his associates mirabeau would have issued with pride himself had the book been really written by him End chapter twenty read for you by ted delorme in fort mill south carolina